what's up you guys so we're back with another video this week i thought i'd like to mix it up a little bit haven't done one in a while a makeup video last week's video that i wanted to do didn't work out that editing process was complete shit so i really apologize for that so i thought i'd make it up by doing this i guess yeah so today's video is how to do your makeup like an instagram baddie you're probably looking at me like what is this girl no like i know maybe like one or two things about makeup so like if you can see me right now and then you go and look at my instagram and see me in pictures there then you kind of think that i know a thing or two about transforming so yeah with that being said let's just go right into it so i did all of this off camera the first thing i did was i moisturized my face with this moisturizer it's called Skin Rescue Daily Face Cream by First Aid Beauty. It's non-comedogenic, oil-free, it's safe for even sensitive skin. I have oily skin, so it's really beneficial for me to use this. It's the best moisturizer that I've ever used. Next, I'm using this Shine Control Formula by X Out. And I pretty much just use this to, like, kind of just get rid of the oiliness on my face. Because I have really oily skin, especially, like, on my forehead, my chin, and, like, my cheeks. They get really, like shiny and oily throughout the day and this helps like control the oil and it also has salicylic acid so for people with acne prone skin like me it's really beneficial so i just take a little bit like this put on my finger and i just put it all over my face so now that we got that done i'm going to be priming my face with a fenty beauty pro filter primer i absolutely love this primer it is really good for oily skin like mine and it helps you get a really matte finish especially when you use it with the foundation which we'll get right into that and it just really like shrinks your pores and makes them look invisible so just pump a little bit on your hand and then just put it all over your face it's also good to put primer down by your neck because when you put your foundation you have something to put it on you know because we blend our foundation all the way down to our neck sometimes even more and we need a canvas for our foundation so we don't just want it to be like on our skin you know if you put it on your face you might as well just drag a little bit down onto your neck okay so before i get into my foundation i'm going to be using these color correcting sticks from smashbox you can tell one of them is green it's called get less red i'm going to use the green on any red spots on my face to color correct the redness and to kind of like neutralize it this one's kind of like an orange color and it's called look less tired dark and i'm going to be putting this one for my under eye circles like right here you can tell i have like some bags and then also like up here because i have dark circles on my eyes and this is just kind of like brighten up my face and make me look less tired because you know your girl sleeps a crap ton but i still somehow to manage like i've gotten only four hours of sleep every single day so all we're doing we're just putting a little bit you don't need a lot so I'm already looking like 30 times better just because you can't see the redness on my face. So we know we're off to a good start. If I could get this open, that'd be great. Okay, I can't get this open. What the fuck? Dude, I swear to God, if I break a nail trying to open this, I'm gonna sue Smashbox. <laughs> like, that reminded me of like when you take the cork out of a wine bottle and it goes, <clears throat> that was literally the moment right now. Anyways, I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes. And then I also put it up here because my eyelids are super dark. And I'm also putting a little bit by my nose because there's a little bit of dullness right here. Okay, so now I'm just taking a damn beauty blender and I'm just gonna like lightly dab and blend the different color correctors into my skin. And guys, make sure you like dab into your skin. Don't like swipe it, you know? Cause that's how all the product literally will get on your beauty blender that's how like i learned and i was like oh my god like i put so much product and i blend so much but like literally it all comes off i'm like what the heck but it's because you gotta like press it like the term beating your face is literally because that's what you're doing you're actually like beating the product into your skin so it makes sense or whatever Okay, so I beat my face enough. Now I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Look at her, she's beautiful, wow. I'm in the shade 190. This is a neutral tone foundation because I'm fairly like 
red in my face, but then my skin tone naturally is more like a yellow tone. So I just kind of like try to even out the redness and the yellowness by like using a neutral, you know? So now I'm just gonna take my boob cutlet, my boob implant, whatever you wanna call it, and I'm gonna put my foundation on there. We put in a lot, cause we cake in our face, we're gonna have a filter on our face. Um, bonus points if you get it in your hair. Like, for real, bonus points right there. I for real have so much foundation on right now. And now I wanna use my really big oval brush. I'm gonna blend this all in really quickly before it dries. Okay, so if you can't tell by now, my face is absolutely caked. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 1 Custard. So this one's actually like not that much lighter than my foundation. It might even be like the same, I'm not sure. So I'm putting this under my eyes where my Gucci and Louis bags are. I'm gonna go on my forehead because I have kind of like a really small or I guess average size forehead and we just kind of like want to like brighten her up a little bit and then my chin because my chin is actually pretty small okay so I'm leaving that like how it is right now and then I'm taking this matchsticks by Fenty Beauty mine's the color mocha and I'm gonna use this to contour my face so first I'm gonna go all the way up here and kind of bring it around I'm just gonna make my face appear smaller and slimmer and now I'm just gonna kind of like carve out some jaw bones or something because my face has no structure or definition to it, so I kind of just like, so I just kind of like put it where I think my cheekbones would go and just hope for the best. Okay, and I gotta do my, my triple chins. You can kind of see a jawline. And now we're gonna do our nose. I have a fairly small nose, like, it's not too big, but it's not too little. It's just like right there, you know, it's a little bit big for my face, but it's nothing like huge out there, you know? So I like to contour it. If you watched my last um, makeup video on how I do my everyday makeup, kind of do a little skinny penis action right there. Ha <laughs> hey, it's your boy, uh, skinny penis. So that's the look we're going for, see he so now I'm going back to my beauty blender and I'm just gonna like dab it all in. So I just lightly do it and then I go over it with my brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm just gonna put it in any spots that you can still see. Okay, so that looks better. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna beat my nose. Okay, so now that we do our contouring, I'm just gonna use my bronzer right here. Clinique in Sunkissed True Bronzer. I'm gonna use this brush, kinda looks like I can like cut cheekbones with this. And I'm just gonna apply some bronzer where I just did my contouring. Okay, and I'm gonna use this really big fluffy brush. And blend it out. I'm taking just some of my Laura Mercier setting powder. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna put it under my eyes to bake and also on top of my forehead because my forehead gets really oily so we kind of gotta like compensate you know and then i'm gonna like do it like this for you guys to see because it's kind of weird to explain like that we really cutting cheeks i feel like a drag queen right now so I'm just gonna dust off whatever I got on my forehead because right now I'm gonna do my brows. Okay, so I'm gonna vaguely show you guys how I do my brows just for like the sake of time. First thing, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. Looks like this. And I use the brush that comes with it. It's a little angled brush you can see right there with a the little spoolie. So first thing I do, I'm gonna take the spoolie, I'm gonna brush my brows upwards. And just make sure they're all going in the same direction. And then I already got some product on here and I'm just gonna kinda like outline my brows. Okay, right, so now they're pretty much like outlined and I'm just gonna fill them in really lightly.
Okay, so you guys can kind of see like where this is going. I like to keep my brows looking fairly like, I don't know, similar to what they are because I have a naturally very nice shape, you know? My eyebrows aren't like super full or anything, but they do have like a naturally nice arch, so I like to like accentuate the arch a bit. So basically, I'm gonna be filling this to the desired shape and making it look pretty nice, you know, and clean. After like I reach like the filling point, I'm just gonna take my concealer that I just used and I'm gonna put it all the way around my eyebrows, like that's it. And then I just blend it in. So I'm gonna finish my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, okay, so I'm like pretty much almost done with my brows. I just only have like a few more things to do with them. So what I'm showing you here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is basically just to like put it over your brows so they like stay on all day, you know. Keeps them waterproof so if it takes you swimming on the first date, there you go. They're not coming off. And I just put these all over, you know. Okay, so this next step is something that I do that a lot of people really like don't do which i think is like a good idea which i don't see why not i just take the beauty blender the one that we've been working on this whole video take some powder and i just put it in the middle of my brows I take this little brush that i have and then that's it i just brush it off and then i put the excess like across my forehead and the reason i do this is because Basically, I want my eyebrows to be separated because the thing is when you're using the concealer Sometimes the color can be off and I just kind of use this to like blend it all seamlessly and whatever And it kind of helps set the concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna take this brush back and I'm just gonna dust off All of our cocaine powder. It looks cut like look at my cheekbones that I just made myself like Boy is cut Okay, so now I'm going to go into my eyes, but before we go into my eyes, I'm going to prime my lips with this thing called Plump It. Basically, it's a lip plumper and a primer, and I like it because it gives my lips a little bit more of like an oomph, you know? Because, okay, truthfully, I have a top lip, but it's not like out there, you know? It's not really like out there. I got one, but it's really not like out there. So I just kind of use this to give me a little like of an oomph effect, make them look a little bit bigger, fuller, and it adds some color to them and helps like it all circulate and all, you know? Alright, so now let's go into the eyes. So before I do anything with eyeshadow, eyeliner, whatever, we gotta prime our eyes. This stuff will literally help your eyeshadow stay on for like 20 years. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the original. So I'm just gonna put this all around my eye area. So like into the crease and on the lid because we're gonna be using like that whole area now i'm just gonna use this disgusting unwashed brush and i'm just gonna kind of like pat it on and this is gonna be a base for our eyeshadow i got out my anastasia modern renaissance palette another popular palette out is the Too faced sweet peach palette again this one has a lot of like neutral tones and some pinks so in the Too Faced palette, I'm going to use Georgia right here. And I'm going to put this in my crease. And this is going to be a transitional color. Now I'm going to use Buon Fresco. Or Fresco, however you want to say it. In the Anastasia palette right here. I think I'm just kind of kind of do it on the outer part of my eye. So I'm going like halfway through the crease like that and this shade's a little bit more like purple where Georgia has a little bit of a more orange tint a peach tint oh my god peach duh I think that's turned out they're pretty cute that's like I don't know it's cute though I guess so now I'm just gonna take Vermeer which is a very shimmery color it's got a little bit of glitter in it. We're gonna put that on the lid. Just be careful, like around right here, because we don't want it like to be like covered with this eyeshadow. We still want the purple from the Born Fresco to pop and be there. I'm just gonna go back one more time and lightly blend it. Okay, I think that looks really cute this looks really cute actually wow oh my god oh 
my god! Wow! Okay, hmm. now comes probably the hardest part of the entire look. Not many people are capable of doing this. If you're not, it's completely fine. I think this look will probably be just fine if you cannot do it. It is the winged eyeliner. Not everybody is a master at winged eyeliner. It takes a lot of time and practice. So it's fine. If you can't do this part, you can just skip this step. Don't worry about it. So I'm using the Ink Liner in Trooper by Kat Von D. It is my go-to eyeliner. It's the best eyeliner I've ever used. It's waterproof. It's great. Like, literally, like, you could be in a hurricane and this will not come off. Short tutorial, because everybody's always asking me. I'm just gonna, like, do this really simple for you guys. So I pretty much start in the bottom corner and I just do, like, a little line. Like, I angle it kind of, okay? See, there's your line. And then I do another line and I connect it and I make it into like a triangle shape. See, there's like the triangle and then I just fill it in and that's it. And guys, the thing is, the key to being able to do winged eyeliner, I think, is just having a really steady hand, being patient with it. And you just gotta be really light, especially at the edge, like when you're doing the actual wing, you have to be super light-handed when doing it. Cause if you just press too hard, then it'll just smudge and it'll just make the whole thing like way like, not as feathery, you know, and not as sharp. It just kind of makes it more like flat, I guess. So I'm gonna finish doing my eyeliner on both eyes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I got my eyeliner on. I'm gonna go back to Georgia. Going back to her, I'm going to put her on my bottom lash line just because I feel like it puts the look together, you know? Okay, so now we're going to go on the mascara. I'm using the usual Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Mine is the waterproof version because I do cry a lot, especially at concerts that involve Justin Bieber. So, you know, the girl's got to be prepared. So I'm just going to put this on my eyelashes as you would any other day any other mascara so now i'm just gonna put on some lashes i use number 11 by kiss i just really like these lashes they're very like natural looking but at the same time they give your eyes a lot of volume and definition so that's why i really like them so i'm just gonna put them on and i'll be back okay guys so i got my eyelashes on we are almost done bear with me i know this has been torture and it's been super long i feel like being a glowy goddess that's how i always feel with my highlight i love highlights my favorite part of doing makeup so i'm going to be using the fenty beauty kilowatt duo highlighter in mean money and hustle baby so before i put that on i'm just going to set my face with setting spray i'm using the urban decay d De slick all-nighter setting spray you for real can like never have too much setting spray okay so now i'm taking hustle baby it's the more glittery shade of the two i'm gonna put it along my cheekbones also put it on your nose too put it over your cupid's bow in the inner corner of my eye and under the arch of my eyebrow where the brow bone is okay so now i'm just gonna like outline my lips in a shade close to my natural lip color i'm just taking some lip liner right now and i'm just outlining my lips because I don't think we're gonna do a lipstick with this look. I don't know. Kind of feeling glossy, so. And I'm using Malibu by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm just trying to get something similar to my lip color. Usually it'd be Candy Cane, but I'm kind of out of it right now. So yeah, I gotta work with what I got. And if you guys wanna outline your lips, literally go for it. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I always am with you guys. I do overline my lips a little bit just because I feel like they fit my face better when they're a little bit more full at the top. So I do overline a little bit. Not all of us uh, can afford, you know, getting lip fillers or whatever and look like those Instagram baddies. So for the time being, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? So I'm gonna take some chapstick and I'm just gonna kind of like blend it. We got that all situated. I'm just gonna take a clear gloss. This is Wet n Wild. Super cheap. I think I got it for like three bucks or whatever. I'm just gonna put it over my lips. Okay, so my camera had stopped recording, so like that's cool. Um, yeah, and it's suddenly really bright. So yeah, sorry about that. Final look. Let's see. We got the sun coming in. We got a a glow. Really 
working right now. Just look at this glow. Ooh, ooh. Cause if you like, I go So like for real, what would this video be without having those slow motion shots, you know? Yeah guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I really hope you guys like this video, you like this look. Hopefully it turns out pretty good for you too. With that being said, if you guys like the video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up so I can make more videos in the future that you guys like. Also leave a comment about what you thought about the look, if you tried it yourself, what happened to it, all that stuff. Share it with someone you think would like this video. And also make sure to subscribe if you're not already. You can subscribe down there and hit the little bell button so you know when I post every week. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace out.